he had such a vision for what the country, the West, should look like, what Canada should look like. While other provinces celebrate Family Day, here in Manitoba, we celebrate Louis Riel Day, honoring the founder of Manitoba and a prominent political leader of the Métis people. Louis Riel made significant contributions for both Manitoba and Canada, fighting to protect the lands and rights of the Red River Métis. Riel was also the leader of two resistance movements, and at just the age of 25, he led an uprising and formed a provisional government, presenting Canada with a Bill of Rights known today as the Manitoba Act. He was open to uh, immigration. He was definitely open to more people coming with such a rich, vast land. And today we have a multicultural society we live in. And this is some of the work of, of Riel. However, he was tried, convicted, and hanged at the Northwest Mounted Police Barracks in Regina on November 16, 1885 for his resistance. And at the time, he was seen as a traitor. He was just 41 years old when he was killed. We can never forget that he was uh, executed in Canada for standing up for defending what he believed was right and what the people believe also was right. And history is now proven he was right. But Riel's legacy and his vision to protect the rights of the Métis people is still very much alive today. In 2016, Manitoba recognized Riel as the father of Confederation and the founder of the province. Land acknowledgments are now said before many events, including recognizing Winnipeg as the homeland of the Métis Nation and the Métis flag permanently flies at Winnipeg City Hall. He was... 24 when he was in this provisional government. So he was very young um, and very passionate about what he did, um, but also very troubled. Emily Bordelot Laroche, curator at Winnipeg St. Boniface Museum, says it's important to preserve and honor the history of Louis Riel. If you don't learn the history, you're doomed to repeat it. Um, so I think in this case, it's really important to know where we're from uh, and who are the people who helped fight for our rights and to create the place that we live in now. So without Louis Riel, without this provisional government, Manitoba would not exist the way it does. Chartrand says the Métis culture has grown significantly across the country and more Canadians, especially Manitobans, are eager to be involved and learn more about it. I'm very, very proud of the province. I'm a very strong protector of Manitoba and always will be because it, it resonates within the Métis culture and who we are and what we've been taught by our families. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpacidi News.